Oh, you can't keep a relationship. That's right, I'm 17, and what about it? We have to stop saying that black kids who speak with intelligence are whitewashed. Everybody is hypocritical to a certain extent. Ow! Hey, my little sisters, it's Bella May, and at the end of the day, it's Bella May. So today, I don't really think this setting is appropriate. Hold on. Okay, this is better. I just feel like it's more appropriate. You know I'm extra. I got my cue cards, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I have my own talk show because once again, I'm extra. And I think people care about my advice. I swear I'm good at advice, but I'm not. But yeah, I got like 10 statements that I personally agree with or I feel like. And it's basically spill the tea with Bella May. So it's basically how Bella May feels about this, this, and this. I don't know why I'm speaking in third person. Just sit back, relax, and come on this chaotic journey with me, okay? It's gonna be fun. First things first, relationships at a young age. <laughs> so... I feel like there's a positive and negative to this. You know, sometimes relationships at a young age actually do work out. That's where you hear about the high school sweethearts, all of that. That's pretty cute. But, big but, that's what my math teacher used to say. Do not let, depending on a boy or a girl at a young age, get so bad to the point that your mental health is deteriorating and you're relying on them. There are so many fish in the sea. You are so young. You really don't need years of commitment right now. And that's just my opinion. And um, it's probably because I'm not the best at it. But I'm not saying you can't do it. Some people are really, you know, meant for the commitment. Others are not. Don't think just because you're the single one out of your group that there's anything wrong with you. You're young. Don't let people tell you, you know, you can't keep a relationship. That's right. I'm 17. And what about it? Or I'm 16. I'm 15. I'm 18. So what? I'm young. I'm in my prime. I'm like Jordan in the 90s. Yeah. Next one. This is kind of to the parents, but not really to my parents because, you know, I'm trying to get in trouble. Kids deal with stress too. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Kids deal with stress too. I feel like so many adults have this misconception that only adults can deal with stress. And if that was the case, then why do I have all these bumps? And they're not just puberty. Kids can deal with stress too. Kids can deal with stress in their home life. Kids can deal with stress in their classes. Kids are humans too. Just because their mindset or they're younger doesn't mean anything we still go through stuff even relationships oh no kids deal with stuff okay of course we may our stress may not be on the same levels yes you are the one paying the bills you are the provider but we're holding it down in the school life we're holding it down and the teenage life is actually really hard everything's a comparison No, I would say as you get older, you learn to better cope with things. So, just think, we're young. So, everything stresses us out. Number three, everyone is hypocritical. Okay, listen, listen, because you're probably like, she is so dumb. Everybody is hypocritical to a certain extent. You have once said you dislike something, and then you ended up liking it the other week. You... Your mind is not usually made up all the way. Sometimes, you know, you really don't like, or you don't like how you said, you know, I said, I would never dress like this. Now I'm dressing like that. That's what I mean when I say everybody's hypocritical to a certain extent. There's something that you said you wouldn't do, and you're probably doing it. It's that artist that you said you wouldn't listen to. And now you're jamming them every morning. I'm not saying you're like a bad hypocrite. I'm just saying everybody can be hypocritical to a certain extent. So, yeah. Listen to this one. This is especially for my younger generation, teenagers. Social media is deceiving. 
everything is a comparison that is factual facts let me tell you something ladies uh, shoo you know you compare yourself to all these models on ig right but mind you People only post on social media when they feel as though they look good. So they have bad days as well. They just don't show you them. And why on social media, every time I look for a hair tutorial, it's the finest texture of hair. The curliest type, you know what I'm saying? Not really my texture of hair. When it should be a variety. And men, don't be comparing yourself to all these rappers or all you think these people that are successful with the chains. Social media is a huge market. It has positive and negative effects. The positive effects is that it can get your brand out there or it can just get you out there or it's just something, you know, entertaining. Entertains the eye. Like if you have a business or something, it's really good to market, super amazing. We need it, of course. There are negative aspects as well. It's a bunch of comparisons, you know. There's a beauty standard, there's a skin color standard, there's so many standards of what they social media views as successful. The one with all the chains, the prettiest smile, you know, the lightest skin. You just have to know that even those people, and they're beautiful, even but even beautiful people have bad days as well. Bad hair days, bad skin days. It's just that that's not what sells, so that's not what you see. Now there are some celebrities that, you know, let, them, let you see them through all phases, so. Just keep that in mind. Ow! Okay. This is why you don't be extra. It's okay to be unsure of yourself early in life. And what I mean by is, you don't need to know what your career path is coming into high school as a freshman. Now, senior year, you're kind of pushing it. And college isn't meant for everyone. You don't have to go to college if you feel that's not best for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be influenced by others or be influenced by others but you don't have to be set on life so early and there are kids that are actually very aware of what they want to do early but that does not take away from you you're different be different your friends are your biggest haters listen to me listen to me okay i'm not saying all your friends are fake all my friends are not fake I'm saying that the ones closest to you are usually the ones that do not want to see you succeed. And that is a fact. Strangers are more likely to support you than the ones in your circle. You're climbing this ladder. They're watching you. They're like, oh, wow, you're amazing. But once you get to the top, they say you've changed. Now, some people really have. <coughs> DDG. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? Once you get to the top, that support that they had, it like vanishes and you're like, what's going on? For me, for you. The people closest to you really can switch like this. Money changes people. Remember that. Just stay humble and stay true to yourself. Next. Everybody in the world is not against you. This is your sign. What I mean by that is... A big problem that I have sometimes is I always see the negative in a situation <laughs> instead of being the one that sees the positive. You need to see both aspects. I'm not telling you to be out here and be green. Don't be green. You know, the world is not sunshine and rainbows, but everybody is not out to get you. That person may really be looking at you or staring at you because they find you attractive and they don't know how to tell you or whatever. They're not, they don't want pressure. They don't want to hit. You might just think you're cool. Okay? And I'm a hypocrite because when people stare at me, I'll be like, what? I'll be in the store like, what, what, what? But, yeah. Maybe they just admire you. You swag. Faking the gang life is not cute. It's not, boo. Boys. Or even girls, I know. It's, it's just not cute. Just because you're hearing it in a song doesn't mean you have to be that. I listen to all varieties of music, but that doesn't mean like that's what type of person I am. It's just what I enjoy. Ah. But like saying, you know, you're a part of this set and yada, 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 and a boy pull up on you, you're gonna do this. It's not really attractive. Cut it out. 
there really are people that are in this this life and this is a dangerous life you don't know what you're in for it's not like tv it's not it's not like tv okay be true to yourself you got this we have to stop saying that black kids who speak with intelligence are whitewashed we have to that's that's bad uh, anybody can be intelligent intelligence doesn't have a color doesn't come with the skin tone maybe they just don't use slang they're proper i'm a bit of both when somebody has a problem the worst thing that you can do is to constantly remind them of their problem and what about what i mean by that is if somebody has anger issues or if somebody deals with depression the worst thing you can do is keep reminding them hey you know if say you just got your heart broken would you want somebody to keep saying hey remember you got your heart broken how did it feel to get your heart broken who broke your heart again that prop because that is their mental is deteriorating i mean like you're constantly reminding them i'm pretty sure they know their problem the first step to solving a problem is admitting you have a problem but if they've already admitted it themselves there's no need for you to keep reminding them stop saying someone's toxic unless they say it they they are themselves you know i'm gonna end off with this one because this is the platform i'm using and this is how i feel youtube doesn't like to see the real and i'm not saying all of youtube is bad <laughs> But all I'm saying is that sometimes you have to understand in life, like I said, in social media and platforms, it's about what sells. I feel as though people prefer like pranks or stuff they know is fake over real people like me who are just trying to be noticed, trying to make people aware of them and just trying to be true to themselves, man. I mean, like this is really how I act off camera. I, I don't know. I just really can't fake it. I'm not overly excited. Sometimes I act crazy. I am a little bit weird. I am family oriented. I love hanging out with friends. Like, that's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm going to bring to the camera. That's what I have problems with because I don't want to be fake. I want to be real. And I'm saying that real always doesn't always sell. You know what I mean? And if I blow up like a couple weeks from now or a month because it takes time, I'm going to look back at this and be like, never mind. But there are some real people on YouTube that I enjoy watching, I love. You know, I don't want to name any because you're going to be like, every time you point out specific people, the others are like, oh, so what about me? You know what I mean? Just, I want everybody to be included. But, but yeah, um, that's the end of Spill the Tea with Bella Mae. Those were 10 topics that I strongly agreed with. You don't have to agree with it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.